vehicles in the Wheel Warriors collection are sold separately. Some parts not for use with some toys. New from Mattel. Watch out! Beast Walker is coming! Can Trailblazer stop him? The ultimate battle coming soon. Hey, welcome to Nerdgasms.net and Toy Advent Calendar. Um, we've got some cool stuff going on from a lot of different reviewers, and this is my turn. So I decided to do some reviews of some vintage toys. And uh, I was going through my lovely toy room here, and I decided to pull out some classics. Jason the Wheeled Warriors. As you can see, I've been a good boy. For those that don't know this line, Wheeled Warriors was a classic line that Mattel put out in 1985. It was supported by a cartoon based on the toys called Jason the Wheeled Warriors. Although the toy line only lasted about a year, the cartoon saw moderate success airing 65 different half-hour episodes. The line featured four good guys known as the Lightning League. The Lightning League featured the leader Armed Force, Drill Sergeant, Spike Trike, and Quick Draw. I'll start with Drill Sergeant because he is the only one I still have in packaging. As you can see, the toy comes in a really cool window box so the figures can easily be displayed without ever removing the toy from the package. The toy came with a vehicle itself, a driver, the weapons, and an extra set of wheels. Each vehicle had a one trademark weapon, so Armed Force had its robotic clamp, Drill Sergeant had, well, he had a drill, Spike Trike had a large rolling wheels uh, that had spikes on them, and Quick Draw had a shield and some sort of spike weapon. The bad guys were called the Monster Mines. Just like the Lightning League, there were four Monster Mines and each had a signature weapon. There was Saw Boss, the bad guy leader, and he had this giant saw. Kale Cruiser had a giant club. Gun Grinner had a, some kind of swirling club. And Terror Tank had chomper teeth. Unlike the Lightning League, the Monster Mines were driven by giant brains. Not only was the Wheeled Warrior line really interesting, but it had a ton of playability. You had the car factor, much like Hot Wheels. But you could also take apart each figure and reconfigure it any way you liked. You want Crick Draw to have Saw Boss's Saw? Go for it. You want KO Cruiser to have tre uh, treads instead of wheels? You got it. Any way you could think of, you could pretty much combine them. And if you wanted, you could buy accessory packs that had different guns and wheels and chassis and such. Uh, so it had tons of playability and a lot of creativity in this line. So you're probably asking, well, how does this line hold up today? Well, the minifigures themselves that drove the Lightning League, they're pretty weak. You can see there's just a... The plain uh, jumpsuit color, and the face has really no features, only three points of articulation on the, uh, on the actual toy itself. So the, the, vehicle, or the vehicle drivers are pretty weak. However, the vehicles themselves are really fun to play with still, and are really great to display. The only downfall is that they cost a moderate amount of money to buy on the secondary market. Some of them you can get for a reasonable amount of money, but if you want to get a complete one, or if you want to get them in packaging... Um, they can start to add up pretty quickly. I myself am still missing the KO Cruiser and the Spike Trike in my collection. So, if you collect uh, toys in general and your collection has a flair for the 80s, the Wheel Warriors line is right up your alley. So, thanks again for watching, and I'm Sean, and this is another Nerdgasms review.